Well, I'm not gonna kid you. It's a cold one here in Western Wisconsin today in January. Haven't subscribed? Do it and you can stay in touch with gear reviews and stories that make RVing and camping more immersive, more convenient, and more fun. The Gobi Terrain Heated Camp Chair is the real deal. It delivers heat to the seat and the lower back of the chair. You put the battery into the side pocket, plug it in, and you're set. You're in charge with low, medium, and high heat. That's 113 degrees for nine hours, 122 degrees for six hours, or 131 degrees for four and a half hours. You can even use the 7.4 volt lithium polymer battery as a power pack for your phone. It holds over 48 watt hours of juice. That's a lot. The terrain is built on an ultra durable steel frame Comes in at 11 pounds, supports up to 325 pounds, and it's wind and water resistant. That's perfect timing. You can probably hear the snowmobiles off in the distance coming back. We were gonna go ice fishing today, but the way that the weather has been, the water is... <laughs> Okay, so we're here in western Wisconsin. It's about 19 degrees and I'm testing out the Gobi Heat heated chair. It's got a battery over here that says it will run about four and a half hours on high, which so far in my testing has proven to be pretty true. Now we haven't been outside in this cold the whole time. A lot of that testing was done inside of a heated garage, which is kind of not fair. However, we were gonna go ice fishing today, but the ice is pretty, it's not solid. It's been really cold, but it has snowed a lot and it has rained a lot, which is really weird. So it's been super cold. So you got about eight inches of ice and then about three to four inches of slush. One guy is saying six inches of basically a lake on top of a lake. And then you got this huge snowpack on top of it. But we chose not to go ice fishing. It was just too rough out there and didn't seem worth it. We'll get back out on the ice later this winter. Can't wait to set up an enclosure and have these heated chairs inside of them, actually on the ice instead of near the ice. In the meantime, they work fantastic as stadium seating inside of a garage in order to enjoy playoff football. We weren't born to be cold. But if you're someplace like Wisconsin in January, that's all there is. You can sit by a campfire, but only one half of you is gonna stay hot. Maybe you're in Florida or Arizona or Southern California where it's supposed to be warm, but this time of year, you can get kind of screwed on that deal. The cold weather is there to remind us that life, it's just not easy. A friend and I used to put embers from the fire pit under these mesh lawn chairs, and that would keep both sides warm. Let's pretend that we called them uh, backside embers. What works better? Battery-powered heat on your backside. The days are finally getting longer. It looks like we're gonna make it through again. We've only got one life. We owe ourselves a little comfort, and that means some heat. Even the girl kitty loves some backside heat at home in front of the fireplace. She is spoiled. This has gone too far. Let's take a look at the heart o meter known in French as the Kier o Metre. I don't know if that's right. I, that's not even a thing, but it's showing 4.875. That is just about perfect. Why the deduction? It's a little hard to pack and carry. Kids games at the park, no problem. Heading out of town with limited space in your rig? Stowing might become an issue when bad weather hits out of the blue or just while cruising down the road. That's especially true if you're taking more than one chair. That being said, it's a chair. You know how big it is and how much it weighs. Pack accordingly and quit. Well, just pack accordingly and there's no need to complain. The Gobi Terrain Heated Camp Chair. It's solid, it's comfortable, it keeps you warm when it's cold. It's great for winter, perfect for spring and fall. The battery lasts long enough for most of the things you're gonna be doing. I love it, and so does the girl kitty. A huge shout out to the Smith Family Cabin in Western Wisconsin for letting us put together these videos and bring great gear reviews and adventures to you guys. Pretty awesome. Cold, not gonna kid you, it's cold, but pretty awesome. Look sharp on the road and at camp with gear from the iHeart RVing store. It's the best gear from the best RV magazine on the planet.